Robots have always had a big presence at CES, but this year there are some of the craziest ones that we've ever seen on the show floor. So we thought we'd go and do a little bit of a show floor tour and check out some of the coolest ones that we saw at the show. First up is this awesome ping pong playing robot that I am currently playing against. It's called Forpheus from Omron. And it is a ping pong training robot. It uses AI and uh, optical recognition to predict where you're gonna hit the ball and then it moves its robot arms to return and hit it back to you. Interestingly, it is not designed to beat you at ping pong. It's actually designed as a training tool. So it kind of uh, analyzes the skill level of the player, the person it's playing against in real time, and then adjusts itself, adjusts its playing level so that it's on the same level as you, which is really interesting. I'm used to just playing against robots that their sole purpose is to beat me, but this one is actually cooperative. So this one is the Lumo robot from Ninebot, which is the company that owns Segway. It is a robot that you can ride. So it's basically a Segway platform, but instead of having handlebars, it has a little camera system, which is loaded up with all kinds of AI. So it can follow you around when you're not riding it, but when you want to go somewhere, you can actually just twist its little head, hop on top of it, and ride it to wherever you want to go. So this is what mall cops will look like in the future. They will still be on segways, but they will be robotic. So in addition to robots that will play ping pong against you, there's also a robot on the show floor this year that can play Scrabble and chess against you. So not only is it smart enough to analyze the pieces on the board, it, it does have arms and can move stuff. So you don't even need to have friends to play games anymore. All you need is one of these robots. So this is the Motobot from Yamaha. It is a robot that is designed to ride a stock motorcycle. So no modifications to the bike whatsoever, but the robot is able to ride it nonetheless. And the idea behind it is to actually drive performance in these motorcycles. So they're pitting this against actual human riders and seeing if it can figure out how to beat them and ride faster and get more performance out of the existing bike. Another thing that Yamaha brought to the show this year is the Phaser R, which is an autonomous crop spraying drone, basically. So this thing is designed for use in agriculture. Um, you can pre-program the flight path and it'll fly over your crops and spray them with fertilizer, whatever you want to put on your crops. Robots, they're everywhere. <laughs> And they can dance. Not very well, but you know, they can do it. 